Hey everybody, it's Derek and Catherine. We are here at Carrabba's Italian Grill. This place is famous for Italian food, so let's go see what's on the menu and see if it's worth it. Here at Carrabba's, they've got appetizers like calamari, a new Tuscan breadstick tower, meatballs and ricotta. They got handmade pizzas, pasta, specialties like chicken brian, and steaks. So today we're gonna to be getting the classics combination for our appetizer, that's $16.49. We're also getting a pepperoni pizza, that's $15.99. Catherine, for her entree, is having the linguine pescatore, which is $24.99. And for me, the most expensive steak on the menu, the Tuscan grilled ribeye, $34. 99. And the reason we're getting the most expensive steak is to find out how good is the food here? How good does it get at Carabas? And that is the most expensive food on the menu, so that should be the best. Let's find out. Combo appetizer. Thank you. Thank you. This is the classic appetizer combination. That looks great. Yeah. You want to tell me exactly how this is described on the menu? Yeah, absolutely. We have hand breaded calamari, mozzarella marinara, and a side of marinara sauce here, and zucchini fritte. I'm gonna try the calamari first. I'm gonna try it without sauce because I want to taste what the seasoning's like mm -hmm. on the calamari. Very crunchy. Got a lot of crunch on this. Nice flavor too, nice seasoning. Not heavy Italian seasoning too, but good crunch for sure. All right, maybe go ahead and rate it. Okay. <laughs> Zero to ten, what do you okay. think? I'm gonna give this a seven. I'm okay. Give seven. Seven There's a seven. lot more crunchy breading than calamari, but okay. the calamari is small. Seven's good. All right. You also have cheese and mm -hmm. zucchini. Mm -hmm. We have the cheese here. I'm just going to pick this up. You know, it's an appetizer. I'm going to call it a finger food, but sure. it's an appetizer. Let's just try this. I would give this. I'm gonna get this also a seven. It's probably really good with the marinara sauce. Oh yeah. We should give it an eight. So let's go ahead and try that. Yeah, let's try that. And just kind of spoon it on here. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Definitely give it an eight with the sauce. Okay, so seven without the sauce, mm. eight with eight the with sauce. It, that must be sauce. some good sauce. Yeah, it's Bumps good sauce, whole it point. complements it. it All right, complements you have one more thing to try here. This fried mm. zucchini. Let's try it with the sauce here for dipping. Mm. You know, I'm going to give those a six. I'm oh, give those a six. Six yeah, out of ten. Give those a six because they're um, a little greasy. A little oh, okay. Because they're, they're thinly cut and they're fried. I see. And the All sauce right. is good, but I'm going to give it a six. But it, it's a solid plate. Yeah, we have it's, the it's the classic, classic combination. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try these zucchini first, since you didn't like these. I'm going to start with these. Maybe we'll start and go higher, but. Okay. Oh. I actually really like these. Okay. They're like melting in my mouth. Yeah, they're very you soft. Get that? Maybe it's because I had them last. Maybe. Mm. I think this is quite addictive. Try it with the sauce. Okay. The sauce was very good. I like the sauce. Oh. No, it's sort of like a... It tastes like a salad dressing or something, like mm. a Caesar dressing. Okay. But I like them just by themselves. They're like super light french fries. Okay. Mm. Now, mm. how would you rate right. them? Oh. Honestly, I would give those like a 9 out of 10. Oh, nice. I really like those. All right, let me switch to the calamari because these are kind of... You know, it's crazy so fabulous. Oh, oh everything's so great. good so Thank far. You. We're so excited to try the rest. Yeah, I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's try these calamari, just as is to start. Not as much flavor as I thought there might be on there. Mm. Is that what you think? It's very crunchy. There's a, it's like a light peppery seasoning, I thought. It seems like a light fry too, like it like could go a little more golden, mm. but... Let's try it in the sauce, marinara. Okay. okay. Oh, see, I didn't try it with the marinara sauce. Mmm. That's good sauce. Mm -hmm. Still though, I would I would actually say maybe only six without the sauce. Okay. Seven with. So far, I love the zucchini fries. But 
the fried cheese. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, look at that. Very nice. All right. Mm. That's a lot of cheese. It's a it's good like bite of cheese. Very cheesy. Mm -hmm. Let me try it with marinara. Okay. I'd like that to be crunchier. Okay. It's a little too soft on the outside. It's very creamy on the inside. It's good, but not great. Seven. Pizza next. Oh, great. A little Ramona cheese? Yeah. Sure, thanks. Yes, please. Thank you. This is our pizza. Ah, great. That's perfect. Thank you. That's great. Thank you very much. Ooh. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. So we got our pepperoni pizza. It's one of three pizzas they offer here at Carabas. This is handmade, fresh mozzarella and pepperoni, and our server just sprinkles some freshly grated Romano on it. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty good, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. Let's try this pepperoni pizza. See how it's sliced here. Oh, got a little piece just right here for me. Okay. Very thin. Yeah. How's that pizza? Mmm. Mmm. It's good. I like the sauce. The sauce is really nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a very light layer of sauce underneath the cheese. Let me try this slice with the full pepperoni. Yeah, the pepperoni. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, you know what? What? I had a bit of pepperoni in my first bite. I thought that was sauce. This actually doesn't have any tomato sauce. What? Yeah, Does it's, have just, any sauce? it's just mozzarella and pepperoni because you can see the crust. Oh, know? yeah. So that little bit of pepperoni, I thought, made me think it was sauce. Like a spicy sauce. Yeah, it's like is, a spicy sauce. But it's not. It's a, no. It's pepperoni. It's pepperoni. But the thing is, <laughs> okay. it, it's, it's like a really thin crust. Like you can see it's very thin. Yeah. But it's not crispy like a flatbread. But this is, this is really good. This is almost would be like an appetizer to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm giving this a nine. Nine out of ten. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. It's a nice floppy pizza here. <laughs> it's very floppy. Mmm. Mmm. That pepperoni is so flavorful. Right. Right. I really like that. It's crispy too. Mm -hmm. It's like really thin and crispy pepperoni. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Soft crust, but a little crispy on the edges. Mm-hmm. This is really good. This would be the perfect appetizer. Right. But I have to say, this is better than that other appetizer platter. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Nine out of ten. Mm -hmm. Wow. Pepperoni pizza here at Carabas. Mm. And if you wanted to, if you were eating lunch here alone, it would be a good solo lunch. Oh, yeah. I, I think it's about ten inches. It's hard to tell mm -hmm. here because we took pieces mm -hmm. out already. It's about ten inches in diameter. Mm. So I think this would make a very solid lunch for yeah, two. Yeah, it has nice the chewy crust, mm -hmm. crispy pepperoni, you know, oily cheese. It's <laughs> perfect. Yeah. I think there is maybe just a little sauce right there hidden under everything. Yeah, it definitely tastes tastes like pizza. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And you got a Caesar salad that comes with your your seafood pasta entree, mm -hmm. and I've got soup that comes with my steak. Sicilian chicken soup. All right, you want to try your salad? You got a Caesar. You had a yes. choice of Caesar, mm -hmm. Italian mm -hmm. salad, or house, house salad, mm -hmm. but you went with the Caesar okay. salad. Yes, love a Caesar salad. Let's give this a try. Got a full bite here. A little heavy with the dressing. Oh, yeah, okay. a little bit with the dressing, and I love Caesar dressing. There's a little bit more than the salad even, the salad this size, but it's a good flavor. And I love the croutons, it's always a nice touch. But I'm gonna go a little lighter on the dressing. Okay. It's so good. And how would you rate it? Mm. Zero to ten? Mm hmm. <laughs> seven? Mm -hmm. Okay. Give it a seven. Okay. Mm. Standard Caesar salad? Yeah, it's a standard Caesar salad. All right. I do like that it's on a chilled plate. Oh, okay. I'm really big on salads 
served on chilled plates or chilled bowls. It adds to the experience, so that's nice. And I've got the Sicilian chicken soup. It's one of three soups I could choose with my steak. The Sicilian chicken, they also had a sausage lentil and a tomato soup. But I went with this one, the Sicilian chicken. Mm -hmm. She said it was the most popular mm -hmm. soup, so let's give it a try. And the menu describes it as spicy, oh. spicy chicken soup. So okay. let's see how spicy this is. It's not spicy at all. Oh, it's not? Okay. <laughs> yeah. all right. That's good. Okay. How's the chicken flavor? Are there a lot of mm -hmm. chicken pieces in it? Mm -hmm. Actually, there's some big oh, pieces big of chicken pieces in of here. Chicken. Yeah. yeah. And then there's there's little pastas mm -hmm. and like carrots and tomato, onion. Okay. Yeah. I actually like that it. it's filled with chicken. Mm -hmm. There is a giant piece of chicken I could see yeah. in your bowl right now. Mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> that's really big. Yeah. So it's a very good size for something that just comes, you know, with your mm -hmm. entree. Mm -hmm. What would you rate it? Um, I'd say eight out of ten. Oh, it's good. Nice. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. If I was expecting it to be spicy, I might not be happy, but mm. I, I didn't want it to be spicy anyway. Right. So it's not it's not really spicy at all, but it does have, you can see, just a nice broth, mm -hmm. a nice broth. I'm impressed with the mm. amount of chicken, like whole pieces yeah. of like shredded chicken so, in there. Eight out of 10. Oh, thank you Ooh, very much. Thank you. Ribeye steak awesome. and oh. seafood pasta. Thank you very much. Romano? Yes, please. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Is it for you? Oh, no, thank you. I'm fine. Oh. All right. Look at this. This is the most expensive steak at Carabas. I got to say, your linguine pescatore looks full of pescatore. <laughs> there is some serious seafood yeah, in here. We've got mussels. We have shrimp. Oh, we have scallops, too. Big scallops. Yes. So can you tell me exactly how this is described on the menu? Yeah, I can. This is linguine pescatore. It has shrimp, sea scallops, mussels, and a spicy marinara sauce for $24.99. Great. And can you tell me how my steak is described? Oh, sure. This is a Tuscan grilled ribeye. And it, you have two sides. You have mashed potatoes and sautéed spinach. Yep. This says it's 16 ounces, the ribeye, and it is $34.99. Okay, thirty-four ninety-nine mm -hmm. for the ribeye at Carabas. This linguine pescatore looks really good. First of all, let me show you these scallops. These sea scallops, they're good size. Yeah, definitely on yeah. the larger side. Yeah, they're definitely like medium to large. We've seen smaller scallops for sure. This is a good size, and I have at least one, two, three that I can see. Also have what is it? Is there shrimp? I see yeah, the mussels yeah, are yeah, in there. Yeah, there's shrimp. Oh, yeah, there's we also shrimp. have shrimp, which is also a good medium size yeah. as well. See, they're cleaned perfectly. Yeah. And we have mussels. You can see some mussels here. So we have a nice variety of seafood. All right. And of course, it's all over some linguine, which is yeah. a, it's a very, actually, it's a really big portion of linguine once you get to the bottom. And it's supposedly uh, a spicy sauce. Yes, so it's a spicy marinara. Why don't you give that a taste and yeah. see how spicy all it is. All right. I'm going to try this scallop. Mmm. Mmm. It's very tender, very tender. It's perfectly cooked. It's oh. not overcooked, it's not undercooked. It didn't, because of the shape of the scallop, I couldn't really get a taste of the sauce, the spicy sauce. Oh yeah. I'm only gonna have to try to get that in the linguine. Yeah. Which I'll try right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see, let's, this is a good forkful. Let's start with this. Mm. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. It's not too spicy. It's moderately, this is a little bit spicy. It's not, it's not spicy. It's I guess, it, you know, Carabas, it's a chain restaurant. Yeah. These places don't typically have too much on the extremes one way or right, the other. Right. So. so it's not like anything where it's flaming hot. It's marinara sauce right. or anything. All right, I got my steak knife. I got my steak. Let's try this ribeye. Let's cut into it and see how it's cooked. I ordered it medium. 
So let's see. They hit the medium. That looks kind of... Medium well? <laughs> or, or well. More well, yeah. <laughs> well, it's... let me... Yeah, that, I don't think that's medium. Let no. me see how it tastes right yeah. first. It's definitely, I think, more well. Okay. Medium. Let's see. Well, <laughs> yeah, well is the operative word here. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's more like well done. Yeah, I would agree. Mm. How about your pasta? Yeah, I was about to dig in on this as well, but I noticed I have one, two, three closed mussels oh. in my dish. See, and if you oh, eat Oh, yeah, this, you're not supposed to... Well, you, don't know, you can't. You can't eat it. You can't eat it because it's not open, but right. it also right. indicates that that's not. It's dead. It's, it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, it's dead. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and I have three, four other mussels that are edible, but it's a little disappointing that this All is twenty four ninety nine, and three of them I can't. And did you try, you try the shrimp yet? I'm um, not yet. All right. Yeah, why don't you try, try the, the shrimp? shrimp. It's a little overcooked. Oh, overcooked? It's the scallop was perfectly cooked, but the shrimp tastes a little tough because it's overcooked. Oh, I well, ordered this medium, and this looks well done. That's a medium test. I can get a medium. Okay, so we we sent the steak back. We're gonna get it medium rare because she said, as served, that is medium here at Carabas. Okay, well, they're firing up a new steak for you. So while we wait for that, I'm gonna try the mussel. This mussel from the. Linguini pescatore. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. I got a little bit of crunch just because it was attached. It's fine. I was going to say, I thought I had some crunch <laughs> in there. Was there a shell in there? There was a tiny bit of shell. There was? A tiny bit. What? It was a tiny, it was a very small amount. Well, that, there shouldn't be any shell in your when you're eating. Yeah, let me try this muscle here. You see, I'm pulling it right out. Okay. Mm -hmm. No shell? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you understood what I said. Oh, no shell. And okay, that one was better cooked. It didn't taste tough at all. It didn't have any shell. But again, for the linguine pescatori, I can't eat three of the muscles. Yeah. Which That's is not very disappointing. Good. And then the shrimp I tried to know it was tough. The scallops were the best thing. I would, honestly, I would give this a, a four. I'll give this a four. Four out of ten? Yeah. Okay. Maybe because I'm disappointed that they would, we would get closed mussels in our entree. Yeah. Because you can't even eat them. Why don't you try my linguine? Yes, yeah, so I'm still waiting for my steak. It'll take a little mm -hmm. while. So I'm just going to try the shrimp. Okay. It's a pretty good sized shrimp. It is. I don't. Not the best. Mm -hmm. Not the best. It's. Uh, How does it feel texture-wise to you? It to me it was tough. It was a little mealy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. So the scallop, yeah, that was. You said that was the best. That was. Yeah, out of the three really uh, seafood items. The only good part of the seafood in here. So. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. there's plenty of pasta. Yeah, there's a lot of pasta. And again, the spicy marinara isn't not too mm. spicy, at all. No, there's like no spice. Maybe a... Like a not uh, even a one. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, you didn't try my steak to, no. to give a rating, but no. if I was to rate this seafood pescatore... Yeah, that's also like a two. Mm -hmm. What did you rate it? A I four? gave it a four, and that's just for the scallops. Yeah, I didn't taste the scallops, so maybe yeah. that... You know, yeah. maybe it was a four. A three of, between the two of us. Yeah, so. it's a three average. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. Oh, thank you. Thank oh, that you. looks good. That looks great. Thank you very much. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. Thank yeah. you. It's just okay. the steak. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. I even I see some blood coming out, so maybe that's medium rare. <laughs> All right. We have our new steak. This is the ribeye steak. Medium rare. So we'll see. It looks better already. Mm -hmm. 
and same sides. So let's cut this open and see how it looks. This is medium rare. Okay, that looks good. To me, that looks more like a medium, but it that's does. what I wanted. Yeah, that looks much so more like a medium. Let's, now you know, if you want medium. Ekarabas. Ekarabas ask, ask for medium rare. Right. Much better? Mm hmm Okay. Mm. Very tender. This is not tough at all like oh, the last good. steak. Good. It's very juicy too. Mm. It looks so much better than mm. the first steak. Mm. Okay. This is much better. This oh, is much more what I was expecting. Good. It looks like such a mm. solid medium. It looks juicy. Mm -hmm. I want you to try the stick. Okay. And again, that does definitely looks more medium. Yeah. Right. All right. Got some mashed potatoes on there. All right. Mm. Mm hmm. Let me try one more bite of that. Okay. I like the flavor. The flavor of the meat's good. The seasoning is nice. I think my piece, my bite was a little more medium well. Oh, really? Yeah. You didn't try the other steak. Yeah, I didn't. That I did not like, try the other steak. That yeah. was straight up like over yeah. well. That, I, yeah, just by the but this looks. Is, you the, can clearly see there's plenty of like pink inside. Yeah, yeah this is a bar. This, what do you think? Oh, it's much better. It's very good. Thank okay. you. Yes, okay. thank you. Okay, now this, here we go. This looks like a much more medium yeah. in color. So let's try this bite. Mm, mm. Mm. That's really good. Yeah. It's very juicy. Yeah. Very flavorful. You have just like salt and pepper on the outside. Not too much seasoning. You don't have to right. do too much. But it, the temperature is excellent. It's a good medium. Yeah. But we had to order it medium rare to get it there. Right, <laughs> so. because our server said the yeah. medium here is. Yeah, a little. Everything's a little on the overdone side. Yeah. All right, one more bite, and I'm going to rate this steak. Mm -hmm. As it is, I'd give this steak an eight out of mm -hmm. ten. But I might have to knock it down to a seven just because you have to order it incorrectly to get it to this temperature. Mm -hmm. You have to order medium rare if you want medium. You have to order, I guess, rare if you want medium rare. I don't know how you get it rare if you want it that way. Right. But if you want it well done, no problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they can do that here. Thank oh, thank you. Looks wow. Great. Thank you. All right, we just got the cannoli cake. This is a cannoli cake. And this is a cannoli cake for two. It's the only dessert on the menu that's designed for two people. It's the most expensive dessert on the menu. And they actually comped this for us because of all the trouble we had with our steak and your pasta. They're very kind and we are very appreciative, very uh, special of them to do this. And we very. are very grateful. So let's dig in. This is the cannoli cake for two. It is a vanilla cake with layers of cannoli filling. You can see that there top with a mini cannoli and pistachios plus a chocolate sauce and a chocolate chip crust. Now this cannoli cake for two is $13.49. That's mm. nice. It's yeah. really good. It's very good. It's very creamy. The filling is very creamy. Get nice cannoli taste from the filling itself. Mm -hmm. That's nice. There's like a thickness. I think it's that cannoli yeah. cream frosting. Yeah, and it's the filling, the cannoli cream filling. Yeah. It's, it's very rich. Mm. But it's not too sweet. No. Yeah, that's what's really nice about it. Mm -hmm. I get the little chocolate chips here on the mm -hmm. end. Mm -hmm. Mm. And a little cannoli on top mm -hmm. as well. Mm. Well, I'd say like a solid eight out of ten mm -hmm. on this one. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You want to 
You want to try this? You want to try the little mini cannoli and yes. then give your, your yes. rating? That's nice. The shell didn't fall apart when I bit into it. You have the same creamy canola filling that's in the cake as well. And it's not too sweet. It's just sweet enough, which is what I like a lot of, about this. So what do you rate this whole dessert? I'm going to give this an eight okay. as well. Overall here, Carabas, Italian food. I'd heard it was like Olive Garden, but better. Uh, I'd say it's, it's like Olive Garden. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and be sure to subscribe for more.